We have three gases in the high Optima 700 demonstration. There's 100% nitrogen, there's 2% hydrogen in a balance of nitrogen, and there is 5% hydrogen in a balance of nitrogen. Here are the solenoid relays that will control the switching on and off of each gas. This is the bubbler column. The gases will be switched on and through this bubbler column, representing a humid gas that will propagate through the exhaust manifold. This solenoid relay will switch from the bubbler column to directly into the exhaust manifold. So the gases will be allowed to um, pass directly through the exhaust manifold as dry gases. The adapter fitting here allows us to put the sensor of the High Optima 700 directly into the path of the exhaust manifold. I'm going to initiate the demonstration of the High Optima 700. Initially, we will switch on 100% nitrogen. This will flow through the solenoid into the bubbler column. The 100% nitrogen will fill the headspace of the bubble column and come out into the exhaust manifold. Right now, 100% nitrogen, representing a humid nitrogen gas, is being exposed to our sensor in the High Optima 700. And you'll see this graphically represented here in the demonstration graph. The bubbler is on, 100% uh, nitrogen is on, 2% and 5% hydrogen is off, and above in the graph it is reading zero, 0% zero hydrogen. It's represented digitally by our readouts in the green column in the upper left of our demonstration screen where the 700 is reporting an inline real-time data stream of hydrogen concentrations through a serial port from the High Optima 700 every second. This is also represented in this demonstration graphically as the hydrogen concentration is being plotted with each real-time measurement being reported. 90 seconds in, the solenoid relay for the 2% hydrogen in the balance of nitrogen will turn on. You'll notice that here in the bubbler column. So what will happen is the solenoid will switch 100% nitrogen turns off, 2% hydrogen in a balance of nitrogen will turn on, come through the bubble column, fill the head space, come out of the exit of that, into the exhaust manifold, and 2% hydrogen will now be exposed to the sensor in the High Optima 700. You'll see that in the demonstration screen, the waveforms below the graph the bubbler is still on, zero hydrogen, 100% nitrogen is off, 2% hydrogen has come on, 5% hydrogen is still off, and graphically, you'll note that it's being plotted real time with each measurement, and those measurements are being listed on the left in the green column, and the reports are occurring every second. So in about 10 seconds, the solenoid relay for 2% hydrogen will turn off and the solenoid for the 5% hydrogen in a balance of nitrogen will turn on. So this gas is propagating through the bubbler column, filling the headspace. It's being outputted here through the exhaust manifold and the hydrogen concentration is increasing. Graphically, you can see those operational waveforms. The bubbler is still on. 0% hydrogen and 2% hydrogen are off, 5% hydrogen is on. The real-time streaming data from the serial port is still being reported and, as you can see, is also being graphically plotted in real-time. This real-time serial data stream of the increasing hydrogen levels are being reported every second and the response time is very fast. You'll see now that the sensor graphically plotted data is leveling off, representing the hydrogen concentration uh, in the exhaust manifold. Now what you'll notice in the next 10 seconds is that this solenoid relay 
controls the bubbler column. The bubbler column will turn off and the 5% gas that was propagating through the bubbler column will now be passed directly into the exhaust manifold. This represents a dry gas and for the rest of the demonstration 5%, 2% hydrogen and 0% hydrogen uh, as dry gases will propagate through the exhaust manifold. You'll notice graphically the bubbler is now shown as off. Zero and 2% hydrogen are both off and 5% is turned on. The streaming serial data uh, still appears every second in the green column and graphically, real time, the hydrogen concentrations that are being reported are being plotted. Now in the next 15 to 20 seconds, if you listen closely, we may be able to catch a little change in the bubbles here in the bubble column. But what's going to happen is the solenoid relay for the 5% will turn off and the solenoid relay for 2% will turn on. Now the 2% dry hydrogen gas and the balance of nitrogen is propagating directly into the exhaust manifold and you'll see that the sensor within the High Optima 700 responds right away reporting a serial data stream of hydrogen concentrations in the green column but it's also graphically being plotted showing the drop in hydrogen concentrations real time to a level of 2% as we would expect. In the last stage of our demonstration, you'll see that the solenoid relay for the 2% hydrogen is now going to turn off and the 0% hydrogen, 100% nitrogen gas will now stream dry into the exhaust manifold with that solenoid relay turning on. The indicator lamp on the High Optima 700 is turned off because there is no more hydrogen being detected in the exhaust manifold. You'll see that graphically the operation of the demonstration is represented, the bubbler's still off, 0% hydrogen is now on, 2% 5% hydrogen are off. The columnated serial data stream shows the 0% hydrogen concentration and graphically the 0% hydrogen concentration has also been plotted. Here are some of the High Optima 700 demonstration highlights. Uh, the ease of implementation and connection of the sensor into operation. Fast, real-time reactions are reported both digitally, graphically, and through the analog outputs. The prompt reaction speed of the sensor for both increasing and decreasing hydrogen concentrations. The High Optima 700 can detect and measure hydrogen in both dry or humid background gas streams. The LED indicator on the front of the High Optima 700 will shine from green to red at the initial indication of hydrogen. And lastly, the digital output using the RS-232 and RS-422 serial COM port can report and monitor the hydrogen concentrations in real time. <laughs>